pretty straightforward. Now the injector flow tracking, fixed flow with default pressure compensation. That's what we're gonna have to choose here for this vehicle uh, because I don't have the ability to go into the flow pressure listing and go in and look up the fuel pressure. So we know we have a fuel pressure sensor mounted. If I knew the actual flow rate at various fuel pressures, I could configure a table like this. I don't have that available, so we're gonna have to use the math uh, within the max to calculate things. So the injector flow at three bar or 43 and a half PSI, that's gonna be, in this case, 410 cc. Fuel pressure tracking, we see fixed value vacuum boost tracking, and this say will say fuel pressure sensor tracking because we have that fuel pressure installed. So we're telling the flow rate here, not 400, 4100, 410. Uh, we're telling the max that at three bar or 43 and a half PSI, the injector should, should flow 410 cc. We're looking at the fuel pressure. If the fuel pressure is higher or lower than that, it'll automatically look up and calculate what the true flow rate is at that pressure. And that's based on a simple equation that goes on in the background. So it uh, makes things a little bit easier for us. Now the injector dead time, we're gonna leave this on list voltage dependent. We do have the option table custom axes and normally we would include fuel pressure and battery voltage if we had a, uh, a injector a, a, a spreadsheet or injector uh, uh, calculations provided from an injector manufacturer that gave us this information. We don't have that with an RDX injector. It's an OEM injector. So we're gonna have to leave it on, in this case, voltage dependent. Now, I do not know what the dead time values should be for an RDX injector. We're gonna figure this out, and that's gonna be the case with a lot of injector sets. Um, you could even put in the, in the injector data or latency or dead time values from an injector manufacturer and they may not be correct, which is the case with a lot of injectors I work with. So in this case, uh, we're gonna go ahead and run with these default values and see how things go, and we'll adjust these as needed, and I'll describe that process. The pulse with adder, this is a short pulse adder we're not using. Uh, e the injection event angle, we're gonna say angle reference before TDC, event edge, we're gonna say end of injection, and we're gonna set all of this to 360 degrees. This will allow us to do EOI or end of injection reference uh, programming. This should be good. Um, so startup warm up after start enrichment, we're not gonna talk about right now. Prime fuel, IT, Excel, Barrow, Lambda control, we're not gonna talk about right now. Um, we'll leave this, a lot of this to the next tutorial. So we'll just... All right, so let's close up our fuel area here since we're- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.